Kristen is a change agent. Kristen is a trailblazer. Uh, Kristen is um, a woman who uh, fights for change every day. Uh, so I work in the education arena, um, helping kids with social and emotional skills and just being able to provide culturally responsive resources that help them propel to the next level. I recall the diverse experience that I received um, coming from an HBCU. I love my HBCU and all of my people there, but I think that um, coming from China to into this, I think it was an amazing uh, way to stay consistent with just building healthy relationships from all different backgrounds. Um, so I really cherish that experience because it created me to be bold uh, in any type of environment. Uh, and then secondly, I uh, just enjoyed the hands-on experience that I received uh, being here at TWC. Oh, it influenced it tremendously um, because I believe that it's just given me so much uh, knowledge and skills that I can take into the workplace, uh, as well as, um, like I said in my speech, that you know one of my old bosses, uh, he owned a PR firm, and it just really planted a seed in me to be an entrepreneur. And I didn't know that seed was planted until I just jumped out and became an entrepreneur. And you know, I, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 22, so I'm 32 now. So 10, 10 years later. I'm still an entrepreneur, so I definitely think that TWC shaped my career path. I would tell myself that, um, you know, you're bold, like you're, you're, you're just so good at, and resilient. And at the age of like 20 or 21, 22, you know, I didn't see how strong I could be, um, how much I can endure and how many stories that I can say I've overcome these things. And so just tell, you know, just telling my younger self, like you're fearless, you know, um, because I'm fearless now, but I wish I would have been super fearless back then. I think I was questioning my abilities and wasn't as um, confident as I could have been. And I, if I could go back in time, I would tell myself like, do it, be confident, be bold in those arenas that you were placed into, um, because now I have no issue being, <laughs> being confident or bold, yeah. I would tell them to literally study, study, study. I would tell them to read books in their field, to read everything they can on a, uh, you know, a job before they go for an interview. Um, and just when they get that job to maximize every opportunity every single day, big and small. Um, because I think sometimes we take for granted the opportunity once we're in the work and we like feel bogged down, but every day really rejuvenate yourself, uh, speak over yourself, have affirmations every day, have positive talk in your life and just really go for it and be the best that you can be in that position, gain every type of experience and don't let anything you know go to waste. Use every single skill that you have into every type of career that you go into. I have a famous quote that I say, and it's in one of my books and it says, that, the position of your mind determines the posture of your life. So I'll tell people that, um, think about the positioning of your mind every single day. Like when you wake up, do you have good thoughts or do you have bad thoughts? And if you have bad thoughts, you need to combat those bad thoughts with good thoughts and positive thoughts because it really sets the tone for your day. Um, and so really positioning your mind to understand the posture of what your life looks like. And so if your life is positive or your, or your thoughts are positive, then your outcomes will be positive. And so really understanding that, you know, the position of your mind determines the outcome of your life. And so being positive always is, is really what's going to help your mind and be able to help you grow.